Orland, they got issues, baby. What's wrong? Okay, I was driving my car. At the time, I had a Chevy Lumina, which is a cool-looking little car for a lady my age. And I'm driving. I go to physical therapy there at a um, um, doctor's office. It was part of my medical group. So I'm driving. And somebody hollers out of their car, N-I-G-G, you know the rest. And so, you know, since I've been grown, I've only been called that twice out of for no reason, and both times it was in Orland Park. <laughs> both times. I think that's on the. Years apart, no less. I think that's on the welcome sign, uh, Orland Park. <laughs> We're going to call you the N word if it applies. Of course, I yeah. flipped them the one finger salute. Uh, can't we all get along? <laughs> no, hey, I was driving my car. You know, and then the next time I had to go up, I had to get gas. Now, wait a second. I was they... all nervous <laughs> getting out of my car because I was just waiting for somebody to jump and say something stupid. <laughs> my knee say... was hurting, you know. <laughs> I had knee surgery, and I'm going to have to fight by myself. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Does it say on the welcome sign to Orland Park, welcome white people, Orland it, Park? It should. It should. All right, oh, Janice, thank you very much. And I'll never forget, I was at the McDonald's. And he jumped out of his car. He says, where are all you people coming from? He didn't say people, though. And I was like, man, I got a car and a job over Gary, here. Gary, could you explain to this woman why you uh, did that to her? <laughs> oh, my, I, mean, I don't mean to they laugh because it, it's bizarre, then, but it, you're thinking, well, we're in the 21st century. That probably happens a lot less than it used to. Hey. And here you are. Hey, you can't even I go and get yourself a quarter pounder. in my car. You know, I wasn't even doing that. Yeah. I didn't make the people mad. I was just passing them. They were going the opposite direction, and they rolled down their window. And I was like, okay, <laughs> okay, all right, it's okay, it's all good. <laughs> Did you, actually, you know what I would have done, Janice? Go, where? Where? <laughs> <laughs> Who's coming? And hey, what numbers? Dirty. Where are they coming from? <laughs> Thank you, Janice. I love the listeners that just add a little slice of life every day to the Rowan Gary Show. That airs weekdays between 2 and 6. Hey, Rocco Despirito, you remember him from his TV show, the, the guy who ran the reality restaurant show and the restaurant himself? He'll be in the studio with Ro and Gary coming up this week, so keep your radio right here on Day and What Time to listen to Rocco when he's on with Ro and Gary. Earlier this week, it has been announced that Brad Pitt and Jennifer Aniston are going to go to the Mideast to start a Mideast peace process. They have a plan, and they're going to implement it. Did you see that... Brad Pitt and Jennifer Aniston have teamed up with Danny DeVito and Rhea Perlman, and they are going to solve the Middle East crisis. All right, that's one too many bottles of Cabernet followed by a joint where they decided to go, hey. What if we all... They're going to the Middle East, true, right? Yeah, they're, they're going... going to Israel. They've announced, let's see, Brad Pitt... Jennifer Aniston, Danny DeVito are among stars who aim to succeed where other statesmen have failed. According to a statement from Brad Pitt and Jennifer Aniston, the past few years of conflict mean that yet another generation of Israelis and Palestinians are going to grow up in hatred, and we can't allow that to happen. <laughs> now, how they are going to stop this is not entirely clear. The logic behind their mission, which is planned to take place before the end of this year, is not especially sophisticated. Pitt and Aniston believe that most people in the region want a negotiated settlement. And they believe that if they appeal directly to ordinary folk, they can bring the warring parties together. Now, forget the fact that every superpower statesman of the last 50 years has tried to fix this problem. The majority of the great diplomatic minds in the world have tried to solve this problem. And yet no one has been able to even... Actually, things have gotten worse as opposed to better. And we're going to send this guy to try to fix the problem. I want to see those buildings rebuilt. I would love to see them rebuilt and rebuilt even taller. And... and an idea I like is that we're at the point of impact, that we, that we leave that section empty like we would 
you see the structure through and we just glass mm -hmm. it out the point of impact the seven floors the mm -hmm. ten floors mm -hmm. and then we build up above it and we take mm -hmm. those floors up above and so we leave that as a no but as a as a symbol as 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 so we don't forget but also the that we it's important to america to get our symbol back all right now, for those who couldn't follow that, he was describing his plan for the rebuilding of the World Trade Center. That was during a media junket for Ocean's Eleven. And that was Julia Roberts in the background going, hmm, trying to save him from his right. own stupidity. Trying to say, Brad, shut up. You sound like an idiot. <laughs> but it was too late, Julia. <laughs> By the way, we'd like to welcome Julia Roberts to our town. She is in town filming the movie. We'll find it at Banana Republic on the... Uh, Bag mile over the weekend. Back to you, gentlemen. Thanks, Cliff. All right, now, when you stop and you think about this, you cannot imagine the amount of incredible, it's either hubris or cannabis that went into this decision to go over to the Middle East. So, I, so let me see if I got this right. They're all sitting at Brad and Jennifer's house. All right, having a little dinner party. They're out by the pool. They've already their chef has already made them dinner. They've already eaten. They're drinking third bottle of wine. Probably you know Camus or Opus One, some gigantically right. expensive bottle of California Cabernet. And, and they can smell the fires off in the distance. And Brad pulls out uh, you know the magic box and he opens it up and there's you know some some weed in there and they're smoking that. Allegedly. And then Brad turns to Danny. You know, Danny, I was like watching CNN, and what's going on in Israel sucks. So bogus. <laughs> Didn't you think that, like, cool people like us could go over there, and, like, we could just, like, talk to them and say, dude, you guys just chill, because this killing is totally bog. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know... Courtney Cox and David Arquette have there right now, so we got to do something bigger and better. So, so wouldn't it be cool? I know we're all busy because I know you've got like Karen Cisco in development, you know, at ABC, and I know you have a lot of time. But maybe because Rhea, like, she's Jewish, right? She could like help. <laughs> and you know, my wife plays a Jewish girl on Friends. Oh, oh, that's. That's it. I never thought about that. And then they, then you know, they sit around and see. Now Danny DeVito seems to me to be a really brilliant guy. Danny DeVito, I think, is. I mean, here's a guy who's three feet tall, and he's one of the most sought after actors in Hollywood, yeah, right? He's not a matinee idol. And he's so he's been smart about that. He produces stuff. He always produces smart things. I mean, I, this is a this is a smart guy. What the hell is he thinking? He wants to go over with the stoner and the model to go over to, to Israel. And now 5,000 years of mistrust and 50 years of deadly conflict are all going to go away because Jennifer's going to show them how to do their new hair? Yeah, sir. Can I talk to you a minute, dude? Hey, Whitney Houston and Bobby Brown went over in an embarrassing <laughs> episode that's replayed frequently on that special on her alleged drug abuse that's on one of the cable channels. Right. And how were they received? Well, it was awkward. Well, she thinks she's a member of the Lost Tribe or right. something, right? A rare but, a rare but, uh, what would you call it, uh, not influential, a small group of African Americans who believe they are literally part of right, the, Lost the original tribe. Lost Tribes. The Lost Tribe of Israel. But they didn't quite present they the case They found the Lost well. Tribe, though. They didn't present the case too well. One of them fumbled in shaking hands with Ariel Sharon. Yeah, and, and Whitney wanted actually that Whitney it, that's more out. that's more dope smoking right there. I think if you smoke enough dope, you decide you can solve the Middle East crisis. And if you, if you smoke enough dope and you got enough money, you get on a plane, and you actually try to go over there and do it. What's next? Joey goes over to Chechnya and tries to write that. <laughs> <laughs> but it was so cool. I was over there, and they have seen friends, and it's so cool. So, like, okay, do you think Yasser Arafat seen Ocean's Eleven? Or like a river runs through it. What do you think he's seeing? <laughs> <laughs> so like Yasir, like, so I, it's like, I know. It's like totally uncool. Like, like what you think? Because like you think like they're trying to shoot you and stuff. But dude, what's the bottle of Vaseline doing next to your bed, man? <laughs> 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 
Yeah. And I, I, I can see Jasser sniffing around Jennifer Aniston, though. <laughs> yes, I can. That, that's a good ploy. So tell me, what did you like? Maybe we can come back to my room and we can talk about this. You know, Jen, that might be cool. It could like work. <laughs> and he has been holed up for a long time. Do you think that Brad Pitt will lose his train of thought halfway? It, the, there'll be a moment where he's trying to discuss this with some sort of Israeli leader and then forget what he's there for. Now, we don't do any of that Sean Penn stuff. We're coming in from a different approach altogether. Dave, you're on WLS. Well, hey. hi. How you doing? Good, Dave. Go ahead. Well, I, was, I was just uh, saying to the call screener, I was thinking that it is kind of funny, you know, a stoner actor is going over to Israel trying to solve the world's problems. But it's also in the best tradition of, you know, American citizen involvement, people trying to do good in the world. Yeah, that's right. You that's know, what funny. I said. <laughs> <laughs> That doesn't make it any less funny, really. No. <laughs> no, no. So you're no. supporting what they're doing. I'm supporting anybody who wants to go help out. Uh, you know, I mean, Dave, what if it's Jim Carrey and... Uh, he wants to talk and, to Yasser Arafat out of his butt. Hey, and Jim Patch Carrey Adams, what's his name? Job. Robin Williams. You're all crazy. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Don't. Yes, sir. You got it. That's all we need. I, I, I mean, I know right now that Brad Pitt's agreeing with it. Yeah, because like other like it's the problem is it's like the government doesn't know what they're doing. But if you like talk to like the people, then the people will like stop killing each other, man. Hey, you know if you can just get enough z bags in there, you know they'll all be too baked to bomb each other. Ah, anyway. uh, baked. Good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dave. Uh, Naomi, you're on WLS. Hi. Hey guys, you know, I have I have a whole new take on this that nobody has come up with. About Jennifer Aniston and Brad Pitt going to solve the Middle East problem. Yeah, and that is that you have a group of people who the Palestinians hate the most about, first of all, they're Americans, and second, they represent everything that they hate about America. And these guys are going to try to go in and solve the problem. They'll be lucky if bullets are not, like, flying towards them the second they cross the border to go into their country. You know what? That is so <laughs> uncool. <laughs> if, so, like, they shot at us when we were trying to bring them peace. No. Nah. You know, and that's what, I mean, that's like, you know, and Brad Pitt reminds me so much of Ashton Kutcher's um, character on that 70s show. You know, I just, I was really upset when um, Sean Penn went to Iraq. I've done nothing but have laughed about this I just ever hope, since it came out. I just hope they have all the Friends episodes in the can before Jennifer <laughs> goes because I'd hate to see how they'd work around her because I'm tired of the way they're working around the John Ritter absence. Well, and they probably don't even know who, who the, any of these people are. <laughs> no, they probably don't. It's not like these guys are going into the inner city. Yeah, know. sir. Let me ask you a question. Is there anywhere I could score some, like, outrageous Middle East hash around here? <laughs> there you go. Well, I know that's why Sean Penn went to Iraq. But, ah! Yeah! You know. All right, but, Naomi, thank you. Thanks. Me. Thanks, guys. Rowan Gary's weekend getaway, 10 before 1 on News Talk 890 WLS. A reminder that ABC 7 News Kingpin Ron Majors hangs out with Rowan Gary every afternoon in the 3 o'clock hour. Check it out. It's the weekend getaway. In the next hour, some more fun with smells and a dentist that got caught drilling a hole. Well, while he was drilling a hole, he was arrested. We'll get to that in the next hour right here on News Talk 890 WLS. Let's say you're out having dinner and you decide to see a movie. Well, how do you find out when and where it's playing? Well, there's the hard way and the easy way. The hard way would be to go around the restaurant, squeezing into booths with complete strangers, interrupting their meal just to ask if they happen to know when and where your movie is playing. The easy way would be to use your Easy Edge-enabled cell phone from U.S. Cellular. With Easy Edge, you choose the services you want, like MovieGoer. The sales associates at U.S. Cellular will show you how to use it to find movie reviews, times, and theaters which could really come in handy at that restaurant when you're trying to decide whether to have dessert or leave room for popcorn. At U.S. Cellular, they make it easy with Easy Edge. U.S. Cellular, we connect with you. Right now, get free Easy Edge use for two months on select plans. Plus, get a free ringtone from Mod Tones. Application charges, terms, and conditions will apply. See store for details or call 1-888-BY-USCC.
Hola, mi amigo. If you're hungry for the finest, most authentic Mexican cuisine outside of Mexico, then please come to Pepe's Mexican Restaurant. Our menu is a celebration of all world traditions, capturing the original flavors, colors, and excitement of centuries-old Mexican recipes. From our mouth-watering enchiladas and carnitas to our hearty chile relleno and chique in mole, we use only the finest ingredients, lovingly prepared to perfection. This month, we invite you to savor our incredible carne asada la tan pequeña. We prepare it using the most tender and juicy skirt steak we can find, broiled to perfection, and served with your choice of a taco, enchilada, or tamale. For over 35 years, we've been doing it the same way, the right way. Pepe's Mexican Restaurant, authentic Mexican dining. For the Pepe's nearest you, visit pepe's.com. ABC puts on Sunday's best with brand new episodes of TV's most powerful drama. First at 8, 7 central, when a rookie cop is falsely accused. He brutalized the suspect without provocation. He was trying to kill me. His partner will risk his own job to defend him. My trainee held his ground and he did his job. Get out of my face, deputy. Get out of here. Ten eight officers on duty. Then, an enemy from the past. You shot her three times. She's alive. Will bring ex-lovers. I'm walking around with a secret in my head. Closer than they ever imagined. Imagine. I've been lying to my wife, truly. Let's go. Alias and a black lawyer must defend a white supremacist. I know who and what you are. The only thing that could free this murder suspect is a secret he wants buried forever. You'd rather go to prison for the rest of your life and let it be known. You will not speak of this information. The practice. ABC puts on Sunday's fast. Be there Sunday at 7 on ABC 7 Chicago. Toyota owners, get over to your Toyota dealer and get this feeling. The feeling of winning a $10,000 American Express branded gift card. Toyota's giving away 12 of them, plus a thousand more worth $100 each. Just bring your Toyota into your participating Toyota dealer for service and enter. You'll get the very best service performed by Toyota trained technicians using genuine Toyota parts. Come in today and enter for your chance to win. No purchase necessary. Sweet takes ends October 31st. Void where prohibited. Open to legal U.S. residents who are valid licensed drivers and 18 or older. Void in Hawaii. Official rules available at toyota.com slash owners. Insure.com, the only place in the world where you get instant auto, life, and health insurance quotes from more than 300 top-rated companies. Insure.com. Search the insurance marketplace in seconds. View the lowest premiums or we'll send you $500. Have the freedom to buy from the company of your choice. Insure.com. Finally, insurance shopping made fast and simple. Instant auto, life, and health insurance quotes. More than 300 top-rated companies. Insure.com. Makes everybody an insurance genius. <laughs> You've got questions, we've got answers. Newsmaker interviews give you the inside story on News Talk 890 WLS. Last Monday on the Rowan Gary program, Bill Curtis stopped by the studio. It's funny, whenever Bill is in, the, in, the, in or around a radio studio, everybody talks like him. To him. Hello, Bill Curtis. Hi, Todd. How are you? It's pretty crazy. That was a great show that he did on Jesse James and the digging up of his family and then trying to decide who's buried in his grave. If you missed it, keep watching for it on the History Channel because I hear it will be in reruns. Coming up this week, I mentioned it earlier, Rocco Despirito will be in the studio. That happens on November 4th this week with Roe and Gary in the 4 o'clock hour. That's when it's happening, so if you want to check out the... The latest happenings for Rocco, he has a new book out, and uh, if you have any questions about the restaurant business, I'm sure he could probably help you out and send you in the right direction, and he'll be taking calls on that day as well. All right, it's 5 before 1 on News Talk 890 WLS. A dentist in suburbia gets arrested while drilling a patient. An in-depth look at male breast cancer. Somebody died of it this past week, a celebrity, and we'll talk about that all in the next hour. Also, funny names and favorite smells all happening before 3 right here on News Talk 890 WLS. I use Western Union so I can send my father money. To help out with my medical bills. I used Western Union to receive money. When his spring break was planned, but the flat tire wasn't. I use Western Union to send my cousin money. To give me a hand with my car payment. I used WesternUnion.com to send my daughter money. For that new refrigerator I've needed. I use Western Union to help my brother, a struggling actor. Make life a little less of a struggle. I used Western Union's 1-800-COLD-CASH number. Send me money, bro. 
a plane ticket to come visit. I use Western Union. Because it has over 150,000 agent locations. Worldwide. I use Western Union. To spend money. I use Western Union. To receive money. I. 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 Use Western Union. Uniting people. With possibility. With Western Union, you can send money anywhere in the U.S. and trust that it will reach your loved ones quickly and safely. Be sure to use Western Union at your local Kmart. Hi, I'm John Selinger. In 25 years as a medical malpractice attorney, I've seen many tragic medical outcomes that could have been avoided by earlier diagnosis. It's ironic that I would have my own life saved by having a new cardiac screening procedure that diagnosed my heart disease. I was only 52 and totally without symptoms, but with a strong family history of heart disease, I decided to call Heart Check America to schedule a painless and non-invasive heart scan. My scan showed that I had significant heart disease not previously diagnosed. Before I could have any follow-up test I noticed mild chest pain while walking with my wife and two little girls on Father's Day. If it wasn't for my scan, I probably wouldn't have worried about it, and that mistake might have cost me my life and my girls their dad. But because of my heart check results, I sought care immediately, and three days later I had life-saving quadruple bypass surgery. Don't think that just because you don't have symptoms, you can't have heart disease. Please don't wait until it's too late for you and your family. Call Heart Check America today at 1-800-NEW-TEST. That's 1-800-N-E-W-T-E-S-T. It just might be the most important call you ever make. Cool! A Ferris wheel! Hey, the Ovaltine Man! Yeah! No kid can resist the taste of rich chocolate Ovaltine. Wow, this tastes great. So chocolatey! I love this chocolate milk. Is it Nesquik? No, it's rich chocolate Ovaltine. Kids love Ovaltine's rich chocolate taste. And Ovaltine adds vitamins and minerals that Nesquik powder doesn't. Why give them Nesquik when you can give them more? And there are more vitamins and minerals in Ovaltine. Ovaltine's awesome! This doesn't look like too tough a plumbing job, ma'am. Just stand back behind me there while I uh, stoop and uh, bend under the sink. <laughs> wow, I didn't know jeans could just burst apart like that. It's hard to say what's worse, missing something you wish you'd seen or seeing something you wish you hadn't. Do neither. Get this week's TV guide for an exclusive interview with Ashton Kutcher on the set of Punked, where we learned it's not all fun and games. Get TV Guide. We see everything. Anyone who gets heartburn knows how irritating it can be, which is why you want to feel really fast. I mean, the instant maximum strength my lines of liquid hits your throat, you can feel it rushing right to where you need it. Oh, the cool liquid hits the back of your throat, and you know you're feeling something velvety smooth. Soothing that burning inside you. My lance is wonderful, wet, drenching sensation. Restores and refreshes in a most glorious fashion. Try maximum strength, my lanta. Oh. <sighs> Soothing at the speed of life. The guy known as Mad Dog, Ronnie Carsakio, shot a cop, killed him. Yep. And now we have these people going to bat to try to get this guy's sentence commuted. Representative William Degado suddenly has now decided not to talk to us about this. Thomas Breen, the former DA, U.S. Representative Luis Gutierrez, Cynthia Soto, Alderman Billy Ocasio, and Robert Maldonado, who is the Cook County Board Commissioner, all of them have not returned our phone calls. Jay and Eileen, weekday mornings from 9 to 11 on News Talk 890 WLS. Connected with Chicago, the heart of America. From ABC News. I'm Bob Hart. No shots were fired. President Bush was not in danger. But the Secret Service agents guarding him swung into action today after a car penetrated the president's security barrier at the DeSoto County Civic Center in South Haven, Mississippi. ABC's Jeff Morrell says a distraught woman was behind the wheel of the gray Toyota Camry. We do not know who this woman is. She appeared to be in her late 30s, early 40s. She had blonde hair. She had two other occupants in the car. A, uh, a, a child who looked to be in his uh, uh, early teens and then a young girl, perhaps four years old. We do know the woman was seen uh, being dragged away, kicking and screaming as she was taken into police custody. But Morrell says the president was inside the Civic Center when all this happened at South Haven, Mississippi. There was an inch of snow on the ground this morning when firefighters, coming off a much needed break, returned to fight the wildfire at Big Bear Lake in California's San Bernardino Mountains. That blaze now 25% contained. It's got to be good news to the evacuees who've taken refuge in a big hangar at San Bernardino International Airport. Live on the scene, ABC's Andrew Colton. 
It is, Bob, but it is still tough to live in a shelter no matter your age. And for senior citizens sleeping here and living this horror, it is pretty bad. They are pretty much independent population, yet when a, an emergency situation like this happens, they are very lost. That's Patricia from the San Bernardino Agency for Aging. She's helping them get medicine and, if needed, a new place to call home. Bob. Andrew Colton, live from San Bernardino. Is Saddam Hussein behind the latest wave of terror attacks and bombings in Iraq? The U.S. Administrator in Baghdad, Paul Bremer, says... We still have no uh, clear indication that Saddam himself is behind these attacks. Uh, as I said, there is some sign of more uh, control over the attacks at a generally at a regional level. Bremer says coalition forces are stepping up their training of Iraqi soldiers and police. You're listening to ABC News. Candy? Sponges? A poster cleaner? Car cover? Chrome polish? Car wax? Electric buffer? You'll do just about anything to protect your car. No one understands that better than your state farm agent. That's why we insure more cars than anyone else. WLS News Time 103. I'm Rachel Fuchel. Former Bears coach Mike Ditka is in the hospital. Ditka is undergoing hip surgery today after falling in his home last night. Chicago police say yesterday's CTA bus crash at Hollywood and Sheridan won't result in any criminal charges. The driver was trying to help a passenger who lost her balance when he hit a tree, injuring more than two dozen people. One person is dead and two Cicero police officers injured following a crash last night in the suburb. The accident happened at 56th and Cermak around 8 o'clock. WLS Time Saver Traffic. Eastbound 8094 is slow from the state line to Burr with moving road work. Outbound Kennedy is tight from the circle to north. It's half an hour to O'Hare. Inbound is 25 with delays around Cumberland. Outbound Ike backs up from Central to Des Plaines, 33 to Thorndale. Inbound is heavy from Mannheim to Des Plaines, 35 coming back in. Southbound I-55 is on the brakes from Route 6 to Arsenal Road. In Oak Brook, there's an accident at Route 83 and 22nd Street. The double to Chicago West Chicagoland three-day forecast. Mostly cloudy today, high 52. Tonight, rain likely low 45. Tomorrow, a chance of more showers and a high of 68. Monday, mostly cloudy with rain possible and a high of 65. It's 48 at O'Hare, 50 at the lakefront. Recapping today, becoming mostly cloudy with a high of 52. This report is sponsored by Subway. Right now at Subway, you can get two foot-long subs for only $7.99. That's two feet of tasty meats and toppings for just $7.99. Subway, eat fresh. I'm Rachel Fuchel, News Talk 890 WLS. I break for animals. I break for railroad crossing. I break for, uh... My grandkids. Boys! <laughs> now there's one more thing to break for. Right now through November 9th, Midas is offering a free oil change with any Midas brake job. I break for a runaway shopping cart. Speed bumps. Yard sales. UFOs. So visit your local Midas mechanic and get a free oil change with any Midas brake job, including installation of our lifetime guaranteed brake pads or shoes. That means you'll never have to buy pads or shoes again for as long as you own your car. I break for bingo. I break for little old ladies. I break for free oil changes. That's free oil and filter with any new brakes through November 9th. Only at Midas. I break for no apparent reason. Hurry into your local Midas shop. Offer ends November 9th. Oil change includes up to five quarts of multi-grade oil. Synthetic oil extra. Most cars and light trucks. Brake job does not include brake inspection. Not valid with other offers. Some restrictions apply. See participating shops for limited guarantee and offer details. This holiday season, Jared, the Galleria of Jewelry, is proud to be your official Rolex jeweler. Celebrate the warmth of the season by giving someone you love an elegant Rolex timepiece from Jared. At Jared, you'll see the most popular Rolex styles. Everything from the rugged Submariner to the classic President. Rolex timepieces are crafted in 18 karat gold, stainless steel, or a combination of stainless steel and 18 karat gold. 
This holiday, give a gift as special as the season. Give someone you love a magnificent Rolex timepiece. It's a gift of lasting quality, beauty, and most of all, style. A classic handcrafted timepiece that will be treasured for years to come. Jared, the Galleria of Jewelry. We're proud to be your official Rolex jeweler. Rolex timepieces available at Jared locations in Orland Park, Aurora, and St. Charles. Fry Brothers Vineyards, Modesto, California. Imagine we could slow life down a little and find a place where redwoods stand tall and time flows slowly. Redwood Creek, where the tradition of taking time has never been forgotten. Where an unhurried approach to winemaking leads to a richer, smoother Chardonnay. Wines from Redwood Creek. Good things take time. Connected with Chicago. News Talk 890. WLS. Wow, you hate to hear the coach took a fall. Hope the Bears don't take a fall tomorrow. Funny, he's not even the coach, but you still refer to him as the coach. And it's eight minutes after one on New Stock 890 WLS. It's the weekend getaway, Rowan Gary style. It's the best of program from the previous five days. Keep listening until three o'clock this afternoon and all day. But until three, sometime between now and three, you will have the opportunity to win a three night all inclusive Apple vacation. That's right. All you can eat, all you can drink. It's like having a Canarble wagon with you the whole time you're on vacation. This will be at the brand new Ryu Cancun, all courtesy of Apple Vacations, America's favorite vacation company, and Ryu Hotel and Resorts. Not only will I have this trip today, but I will have a trip every Saturday in November, so hopefully you'll be able to score one of them. Coming up, an in-depth look at male breast cancer, funny names, favorite smells, and of course, a dentist who got into some trouble. All right, uh, a story that disturbs me, having just had uh, extensive dental work done, one root canal. But I consider that to be extensive dental work, don't you? I mean, uh, uh, root canal is no day at the beach. Uh, a, um, a woman who was uh, in the dental chair here in Chicago had quite a surprise when police officers came into the dental office and arrested her dentist in the middle of drilling her tooth. And took him away. This in the Chicago Sun-Times today. According to the woman, Betty Sutton, 24 years old, she's in the dental chair. The dentist drilled a hole in my mouth. Cops came in. He said, I'm not finished. She then told the cops, please let him finish. And then the police officer said, hey, you don't want him working on you. Now the dentist, Dr. Mohamed Raza Hus Bihamini. I eat it. Uh... I'm sorry, Bihamini of Orland is Orland Park. Is facing three misdemeanor counts of simple battery for allegedly fondling at least three of his female patients. The doctor was arrested Monday in his office on West Roosevelt Road. He's accused of fondling the breasts of a 29-year-old patient a 23-year-old, and another 29-year-old. Dr. Bahamani received his dental license in 1980 and has had no disciplinary problems on his record. I wonder if this is a Chicago and suburban thing. And if you're from around the country listening on the Internet, let us know if this happens in your area or is this something that just happens in our area where about every 18 months a dentist is dragged out of his office for doing this. <laughs> This is either a very Chicago thing or universal thing, but it certainly happens in Chicago and suburbs. The, uh, by the way, the woman had to go find another dentist to finish her drilling. I think the cop should have let the doctor continue to fill the cavity. That would have been everybody's wish. That's certainly the doctor's wish. Or at least sit there until he finished to make yeah, sure there was no exactly. hanky-panky. Right, they just stand there with a gun to his head, and then they go, you know, finish that up. Because, meanwhile, she had to go find another dentist. The Novocaine was starting to wear off. She had to have the whole thing finished. I mean, let the guy do what he's doing. 
White barge in the middle. That was a part. That was the part of the story that made me the most upset. She wasn't knocked out for this. No, she was just on Novocaine. But the other alleged victims. I don't know. It's unclear. Maybe he was just leaning in, and maybe he was getting some elbow boob, and they were upset about it. There are no details in the Sun Times on exactly what level of fondling went on here. And, you know, Dennis, sometimes they, they crawl up on top of you while they're doing their job. And they, you know, they, they're right in front. Maybe he was lying on top of the patients while he was doing the, the dental work. some of that stuff is hard to get to yeah, unless I you're mean, right on top. It's awkwardly, you know, the mouth is an awkwardly aligned instrument there. So the guy's got to get in That's there. That's why he's got around. the mirror, Ro. That's why you use the mirror. Some dentists don't like to use the mirror, and they Sounds just like want to, they want to crawl on the torso of the patient and then, you know, do it that way. Who's your dentist, Ro? <laughs> if you've gone to the same one all your life, we might want to change. And sometimes he likes to lie down on top of me while he's doing the work. I don't know, is there a problem? Don't all dentists do that? Here's what they should do, and maybe this law will be put on the books eventually. They should give you that lead-lined apron, even if you're not getting x-rays, and keep that on your person. So at least you have some protection between... Doctor, do too much and, and yourself. Don't you feel always impacted when they put that thing on you? Feel what? Like when they put that leather, that, I'm sorry, the lead, lead thing on you. The, I, I feel like I can't breathe. Oh, it's like you. too heavy. I don't like the way We're it shocked feels. shocked to hear that from you. Kim, 591-8900. Hi, you're on the air. Hi. I, I can only verify your story that, yes, it's true that a, a dentist in Chicago... Also, you know, fondled my breast when I was 17, and um, it wasn't real obvious. Like, I mean, I wasn't under. He just was, he was actually rubbing his crack into my shoulder and then rubbing his arm against my chest as he was working. And, you know, when you're 17, you keep thinking, am I doing, like, you keep trying to shrink, you know, into the chair. But um, at the time, it was in, like, in the late 70s, my uh, parents decided not to, like, cause any ripples and decided not to report it. Because it was all cool back then, right? <laughs> I guess they just thought, oh, we well, just didn't go back to him again. They just didn't want to cause any trouble, so. So you really felt like he was inappropriate. It wasn't just a casual, oops, I brushed her and blah, blah, blah. No. And then, like, um, then when we went, to after, the, the, after it was over, he asked me to, say, you know, I stood up and he said, oh, wait, let me check one more thing. And then I laid back on the table, and he was still rubbing his crotch into my shoulder. And then I realized, wait a minute, this is weird. How I'm not done yet. <laughs> yeah. And so, um, you know, then he was using his hand to, like, maneuver things around under, you know, like some pocket pool. But, uh, you know, it wasn't until later on I'm like, oh, my God, I think I know what he was doing. <laughs> well, that's why they have the spit sink. <laughs> so you can just let it all out. Thank you, Kim. I don't know what that means. Sounds like he was trying to fill the wrong cavity. Dave, you're on WLS. Hi. Hi. How you doing? Good. How are you? Uh, listen, I, I have a couple of scenarios, Ro, that I, I, I'm surprised you would say that you think that they should have waited for him to get done. Because imagine if you read this in the Sun-Times today. Three police officers sat out in the waiting room reading Newsweek while a guy who sexually abused three women worked on another woman. Uh, no, no, no. Dave, 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 Dave. No, they got to stand in the room. Guns drawn at the guy's head. Okay, now, here's that scenario. The Sun-Times reports that three police officers forced a dentist to work on a woman at gunpoint. You know, can you imagine what the reaction was? I'm be? happier with that. <laughs> well, yeah, you are. But I'm I mean, happier with that. Hey, listen, I, I got the police's back at all times here. So I, <laughs> my, 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 my thought on this, though, is this poor woman, you know, has got a big gaping hole in her tooth. And you know, the can you imagine what the woman would be saying if she found out that the police allowed a guy who abused three women to work on her? Well, she wanted it. Well, yeah, she wanted it then. But if if the, if the police had let her, I bet you the Sun Times were reporting now that the police officers were. She wanted what, Rob? She job. wanted her cavity filled before right. the police came in. Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah, no, 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 I mean, no, no. It says here in the paper. Now, maybe she said it. that he wanted. She wanted them to let him continue. Was, yes, and they were like, "You don't want him working on you." Well, once they're in there, they, they, I don't, you know, they, you can't just decide to let a guy who's charged with sexual abuse. Yeah, I know. I, I could take himself hostage with his drill. I know. Well, yeah, yeah there you go. That's happen. another one. <laughs> he put the drill up to his jugular vein. Nobody come any closer. Or in this case, nobody come any closer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dave. All right, Tim. Thanks. All right. I don't know. This would be very, very disquieting. Now, the guy can continue to practice here. And it wouldn't be a problem. 
he will, if, if he is convicted of this, and that's a big if. I mean, they may be totally innocent. This may be a complete misunderstanding. But between seems, himself and the breasts okay. of the 23-year-old You know woman. how, for a while there, all the plagiarism stories were coming out of Chicago and suburbs? Guys claiming that Michael Jackson or Paul McCartney had stolen their music. It seems like Chicago breeds that kind of person, just like the dentists that seem to fall into this. Well, the thing is that the dentist, if, if the paper is right here, the dentist will only... in will only suffer like a disciplinary infraction on his record. It's not, they, you know, they're not going to yank his license for this. Now, remember, there was a case a well, couple of years ago. Well, he yank his license more, maybe he wouldn't do this. There, the, the, there was a case a couple of years ago with um, uh, a guy who was knocking the patients out and then feeling them up. Right. And now there's kind of a deal where, I think in Illinois, if you are a doctor or a dentist working on a patient that's fully anesthetized, there has to be more than just you in the room. Otherwise, you're setting yourself up for a fairly major lawsuit. John, you're on WLS, 591-8900. Hi. Hey, guys. I love listening to you every day. Thank, Thank you, John. I'm here in Iowa, and a few years ago, we had an optometrist who uh, had his license suspended for a while because uh, over about a three-year period, he would have women patients remove their blouses while he did a routine eye exam. <laughs> and what kills me is this went on for three years before somebody decided this wasn't right. Yeah, right. Maybe uh, some women figured, well, maybe that enhances my eyesight if I can let the kids breathe. Oh, uh, you're going to have to take your top off. This equipment is very <laughs> sensitive. <laughs> All okay, right. doctor. All right, I'm going to have uh, to have the high beams up on uh, this one. Uh, you have to remove your bra now, and uh, you place your breast in my left hand, and uh, we will uh, <laughs> we'll continue on with it. All right, read chart line three here for me, please. Better? Better still? Yes. Uh, better one or two? A left or B? Left or right? All right, well, thank you, John. But, uh, wait, restate that. Three years this happened before somebody went, wait a minute, am I seeing through my nipples or what? <laughs> well, somebody had to adjust their headlights. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Craig, you're on WLS. Hi. Now, if your dentist says you may feel a little prick in your mouth, should you be concerned? Very much so. Yes, sir. All right, so, so my dentist crawling up on top of me while he's doing the work is not appropriate? Is that what you're telling me? Whatever floats your boat. What are you talking about here? A leg over, or I mean, does he? No, he, he, he lies on, on top of me. <laughs> they do lean in, and that's fine. Actually, I have a friend. I have a friend who claims that when he had his wisdom teeth out, the doctor literally stood on his chest while he was pulling the wisdom tooth out, kneeled on his chest. You think that's possible, John? Oh, he hung up. What was? Uh, do you remember what uh, they were going to say? He had on the screen here that his dental hygienist was very well endowed on top and kept brush up against him as she was cleaning his teeth. Right. How many guys call the police about okay. that? <laughs> right. Like, we hated that. Why do you think you get uh, your teeth excuse cleaned? Excuse me. I am here for a teeth cleaning. <laughs> I'm not here to fill your breast. And I'm now, not here to motorboat you. Now some of the dentists are doing that themselves. The guy dentist, they're not having a hygienist. That takes half the lean-in fun out of it. Right. You want a hot, 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 hot hygienist who's like working on you, and then it, it, it feel a little bit better about the fact that that piece of metal is right jammed down between your gum and the root of your tooth, and she's trying to clean up in there, and you're like, oh, it's okay. Admit it. You used to get all buffed up. I'd shampoo, shower yeah. twice, put on cologne, make sure my breath is fine, go over there, t teeth cleaned. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Tim, you're on WLS. Hi. Hey guys. Hi. I went to college in a small Missouri town, and in that same town there was a Bible college. Um, on the opening day of registration, some guy got into the registration line and started telling, telling girls that a pap smear was part of the registration process. Six girls fell for it before the word finally got out on this guy. He ended up getting away, and they couldn't find him. But uh, six Where girls was he taking them for the pap smear? <laughs> he took them to a local motel. You know, I know you're going to find this to be a just a little unorthodox, but the fact of the matter is that my office is being repainted, and it smells funny, so we're doing all the pap smears here at the local motel. Exactly, and this is these are Bible college girls, and they're not the brightest of the bunch, and uh, oh, no. they're Come very on. gullible. 
Now we're going to get calls from Wheaton all afternoon. <laughs> Why do you do oh, that? It's not Wheaton. It's, it's affiliated with the uh, same church as Wheaton, but it's not Wheaton College. No, I didn't say it was, but I'm saying you said uh, yeah. Christian girls and... No, no, you said Bible College girls. Okay. There's a difference between Christian girls uh, and Bible I College understand. girls. It's actually the girls that weren't accepted to Wheaton had to go here. <laughs> well, there's some anger there, Tim, against these women. All they were doing was following instructions. It's the Rowan Gary Weekend Getaway on News Talk 890 WLS. 121 is our time. Keep listening. Your chance to win that uh, that great trip. I'll have that before 3. Also, uh, Rowan Gary spe- pay a special tribute to Rod Roddy, who died of complications from breast cancer, amongst other things. Turns out Jim did the story, and listeners started calling up that's thinking Jim did a Jim is and saying Rod died of breast cancer, and it turns out breast cancer is actually somewhat common amongst men. We'll get into a special health segment later on in this hour. More conversation about the dentist's dental horror stories, I guess that's what I'd like to call it, coming up after this break. Do you want a warm, comfortable home? Of course. But what are you willing to pay in electricity? How about the same amount as used by a 100-watt bulb? That's what you get with a Carrier Weathermaker Infinity gas furnace with Comfort Heat technology. Add in what Weathermaker Infinity saves you on gas, and it's the most totally energy-efficient gas furnace you can buy, based on Gamma DOE data. With a variable speed fan that distributes warmth over longer cycles, eliminating drafts and hot spots. Weathermaker Infinity. It's the most totally energy-efficient gas furnace in the universe. Besides the sun. Homeowners, beat the weather and save. Get up to $650 cool cash factory rebate on a new carrier heating and cooling system. Hurry, special offer ends soon. For a carrier dealer, call 1-800-CARRIER. That's 1-800-CARRIER for cool cash savings. Carrier, 100 years of innovation. This is Eileen Burns. And this is Jay Marvin. Do you wake up with back pain? I did until I found the answer for better sleep with the Sleep Number Bed from Select Comfort. You bet the Sleep Number Bed is fabulous because it supports without creating pressure points that press against hips and shoulders. When you and your partner set your own sleep numbers to your own side of the bed, you both get the support you want. My sleep number can vary between 36 and 40, and and my wife Mary's, well, hers can vary as well. We've slept on our sleep number bed for five years, and we love it. Change it whenever I want the mattress softer. With a sleep number bed, I actually wake up now feeling well-rested and no back pain. Try a sleep number bed yourself with a 30-night home trial. Start sleeping like me and get the best sleep of your life. Select Comfort stores are located in 10 major malls, including Stratford Square Mall, Hawthorne Shopping Center, and the Spring Hill Mall. Visit a Select Comfort store today. The SBC Smart Yellow Pages is just one part of what it takes to be successful in business.